Joining us now in the studio is Arizona Senator John McCain. Welcome, Senator. What's your reaction to President Trump's travel ban? That it is a confused process, which uh, the good news is that it's only got to do with a pause. Bad news is that obviously this process and these conclusions were not vetted. There's so many questions that, for example, it didn't filter down to our uh, customs people. Uh, who it can come in? Who can't? Is a green card holder, as was originally interpreted, who's legally in this country, can that person be barred from coming into the country? Uh, I talked with General Petraeus last night. He's very concerned about the special visas for those interpreters whose lives are literally in danger as we speak, that they would not be allowed to come into our country. What about the Iraqi pilots that are training right now in Tucson, Arizona, learning to fly the F-16, and there will be more coming in? So the, 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 there's a, so much confusion out there, and published reports are that uh, neither the Department of Homeland Security or the Justice Department or others were consulted about this before this decision was made. Finally, uh, uh, lumping Iraq with Iran, uh, uh, right now we have several thousand Americans who are fighting in Iraq against ISIS alongside Iraqi military men and women. The Battle of Mosul has taken enormous toll on the Iraqi military. Is Iraq the same as, as Iran is? Of course not. So it, it's, it's been a very confusing process. I'm glad that it's a pause, but for us to, we've got to understand the ramifications of this kind of action. Let me ask you about the international ramifications. Reince Priebus, the chief of staff, said not only did this have to do with the seven countries, but this was a message, this is the first big signal in what America first means. How do you think the rest of the world interprets this as a, as a sign of what Donald Trump wants to do with his presidency? Well, I think you saw the uh, reaction of the prime minister who just had a very, of England, who just had a very successful visit here and the European uh, nations. That's another thing that should have been done, of course, is to alert our friends and allies what we were doing because we will expect them to cooperate because people are leaving from these various places, particularly in Europe. So um, I think the effect will probably, in some areas, give ISIS some more propaganda. But I'm very concerned about our uh, effect on the Iraqis right now. The dominant influence in Iraq today is not the United States of America, it's Iran. So what will the Iraqi parliament do? If we're talking about the, f the fight against extremists and ISIS, the Battle of Mosul is going on as we speak, and we certainly don't need some uh, impediment to succeeding in driving the ISIS, uh, ISIS out of Mosul. Let me switch to Russia and ask you, uh, 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 Chief of Staff Priebus said Americans should be encouraged by the hour-long phone call yesterday. Were you encouraged? I think phone calls are fine. I think that we have to understand Vladimir Putin for what he is. He has uh, taken Crimea, he's dismembering uh, Ukraine. He uh, used his precision weapons from Russian airplanes to bomb hospitals in Aleppo. That used to qualify as a war crime. Um, and his ambitions, obviously, of destabilizing other nations is very clear, not to mention the attempt to affect America's election. I believe that peace through strength is the answer, and I'm glad that President uh, Trump has committed to rebuilding our military. That's one of our first priorities if we're going to deal on an equal basis with Vladimir Putin. 